Scallops are some of the best seafood Norway has to offer. They can be both tricky to find and far apart, but sometimes you hit the jackpot. This early December morning, we were four guys jumping in the six degree water with high hopes. My plan for the day was to pick up lots of scallops to bring home for Christmas. But when there's a school of cod underneath, I'm not hard to ask. Despite the crystal clear water that day with 20 meters of visibility, it was dark. And unless the cod were over sand, like the one you can see here, they were really hard to spot. Sadly, I didn't manage to get in a secure shot, and the cods boot way deeper than I was comfortable going. Well, back to the scallops. At 15 meters the scallops weren't particularly shallow, but it was more lighter and they don't swim away quite as fast as the cods. Most of the time the scallops are buried down in the sand, but when they open and close to feed, they create a small depression in front of them. This shape is exactly what to look for when you are scouting for scallops from above. When you are down at the bottom, these depressions are even easier to find. Sometimes when you come near a scallop, it will also close, and that movement can be just enough to give them away. I have seen very few flatfish at Hitra, and with camouflage like this, I'm not surprised. I didn't want to shoot the place since my spear would go one meter down in the sand. So instead I stabbed it and then made sure the spear had gone all the way through before swimming up. As soon as I got to the surface, I unloaded the spear gun as a loaded gun should never be pointed at anyone. When the gun was safe, I secured the fish on the line before I took out the spear. That way I was absolutely sure I wouldn't lose the fish. A few dives later I saw something new. The long, slim shape of a ling. I was very excited because I've never managed to shoot one of these before. And of course, scallops. Making sure I didn't lose the fish, I held it in a firm grip when killing it and once again secured it on the float line before taking the spare out. Very happy with my fish, I now ditched the harpoon and went all in for scallops. Right here, the bottom is at 16 meters. Even though winter spearfishing and free diving in Norway can be a little bit cold, the crystal clear water more than makes up for it.
Where I grew up, the scallop population is much smaller than up here, so they have the opportunity to harvest sustainably where the stock is large and then bringing the catch home for Christmas is truly amazing. When harvesting scallops, it's very important to leave behind more than you pick up. Despite having done that all day long, when I found this absolute gold mine, I just couldn't pick up any. The site was just too pretty to ruin. And another bonus with scallops, if you ever forget to bring lunch on a dive, they make perfect sashimi, especially with a little bit of soy sauce.